Good morning, everybody. Chris Seventy of Seventy Investments and co-host of the Good Deeds Note Investing Podcast. Uh, took a few days off with the holidays. Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. Uh, today, I wanted to briefly talk about uh, custodians for self-directed IRA companies. Uh, over the past few weeks, been working with a few different uh, custodians on some deals. Uh, and not all are the same by any way shape or form uh some are much better at paperwork than others and uh, some have a consistent theme where they can turn around and fund things pretty quickly where others are just extremely slow uh if you have you know they can have expedited fees to expedite things but that may take things down to a few weeks uh down to a week or two weeks which they'll still say oh we'll get it within 24 48 hours um, I know certain ones, uh, I won't name any names, but um, don't, uh, don't do that. But what I'm curious is, um, what's your feedback, Ben, and have a little discussion on who's the good, the bad, the ugly for uh, self-directed IRA, trust, custodians, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and curious to see what your feedback has been working with some of these firms. Uh, I know a lot of people use Quest uh, Trust, uh, formerly Quest IRA. Uh, I've had good luck with them. Um, I would say I wasn't going to name it, but I will. The other one, uh, Equity Trust, uh, they've typically been a thorn in my side. I know others have felt that way as well. Uh, so I'm just curious in regards to customer service fees accounts uh just share a little post or blog uh so people can just get a feel for the likes and dislikes for all of these so uh leave some feedback thanks for watching and stay tuned for next episode of the morning drive thanks and have a good day